in this video we are going to make this style picture. Uh, I'm nicknaming this a sketch, so uh, just follow along and uh, and we'll get going. So first thing, I'm going to get rid of these uh, our other layers here. So we're going to get rid of that and we're going to create our sketch effect first. So what I need to do is I'm going to copy my background layer. I can do that by doing Command and J. Once I've done that, I'm going to desaturate it. You can go to Image, um, Adjustments, Desaturate, or you can do Shift Command U, and that will desa desaturate the picture, making it black and white. Then I can go ahead and copy this layer. So I'm going to do Command and J one more time, and then I'm going to invert it by doing Command and I. Once I've done that, now I have these like alternating copies of the exact same photo. When I go and change my layer blend mode to color dodge, it's going to make it so the image goes completely white. That's exactly what you want to see. Okay, might seem weird. Now we're going to take this uh, invert with the color dodge on it, and we are going to apply a Gaussian blur to it to create our sketch. So I'm going to go to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. Once I've gone to Gaussian blur, whoops, um, then oh, this is on another window here. So this window is going to pop up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just adjust it for my picture. So if I go back, I can kind of go until I get the detail that I want. We don't want to go too much. It's going to end up looking kind of back like a black and white picture, maybe kind of faded a little bit. But um, we're going to go so we just kind of get the outlines of everything. So it looks like it was kind of hand sketched on there. And then once we've got that, go ahead and click OK. All right, so um, I've got this basic part of the layer now. Um, we're going to add color into it by borrowing information from our original background layer. So I need to select that background layer by clicking on it once so it turns blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and do Command J. And then once I have Command J uh, done, I have another version of my color background, but it's underneath everything, so I need to move it up. And I can do that by um, doing Command and then the bracket key and moving it up, or uh, the opposite bracket key will move a layer back down. Or you can simply just go back down, click, and drag it up to the top so you can see that kind of bar there. That'll let you know where it's going to drop. Okay, so now I've got my color image up over the top. Once I've done that, I can take uh, my layer blend mode here. I'm going to switch it to multiply and that's going to pull through um, some of more like the sketching and stuff like that, that that kind of filter adjustment that we just did. Um, and then we are going to take our opacity for this layer down. So you could just hit a number key, like I could start off with like five um, and bring it down or I could just drag the slider down to something around like 50-ish percent. Okay. Now I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to go ahead and cut out just so I have like Kobe Bryant and then uh, you saw the original picture that I had and I started off with had like the crowd in color in two but everybody else on the court was black and white so um, what I can do for that is I need to add a layer mask I'm going to select layer mask and then I'm going to go to um, in this case I'm going to press W and I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and uh, we can try and just do this so um, I can invert uh, if I want, I'll just go with this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and paint over the area that I want to be black and white. So I'll highlight the court and all this kind of stuff here. And I'll probably have to touch it up a little bit later. So we'll get the basics here. So we've got all this stuff set up. And I'll keep going over here. Circle around Kobe. All right. And there we go. It's looking pretty good keep going around the outside of him accidentally just cut off his foot so I'll hold the alt key and the alt key allow me to use this tool and put um, some of my selection back so uh, I've got around him selected pretty well right now so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brush tool just hit B on the keyboard get a nice big brush hit those bracket keys uh, and then I'm gonna paint black okay and we want to paint black with a hundred percent opacity so I'll go ahead and paint all that stuff away all right, and we can kind of see how that's turning out. Okay, now I got some other areas to fill in, so I'm going to do Command D. I'll grab the brush there, um, and then let's go back, hit W. We can go back to our quick selection tool, and I'll fill in some of this other area in here. Uh, hold the Alt key, adjust that, put his shoe back. All right, he's got a little bit there. All right, let's go back to our brush tool paint over that, command D, get rid of that selection. So now he's looking pretty in color. Let's go back to our selection tool again. 
And then we're going to select this area here. That looks pretty good. So I'll go back to my brush tool, paint all that stuff away. Okay. And then uh, from here on out, um, I'm going to just speed everything up. Uh, I think you should probably know how to do it from here. Uh, you've seen me work. Um, and then, uh, well, we'll just fast forward it and then you'll get to my end product really quick. Okay. All right, and there you have it.